you know, as we go forward developing uh, renewables and batteries and uh, electric vehicles will also have batteries. Uh, and this is an issue that was raised in the Supreme Court as well as they're listening to a case about air pollution and about electric vehicles. The point was raised that we don't have the infrastructure to dispose of the batteries. So uh, that is obviously a very big concern. We can't have more pollution caused by means that are going to actually reduce pollution. So how do you see this going forward? What do we need from the government? If we achieve 100 gigawatt of solar by 2022, we would have covered approximately 1 million hectare of land through these panels. Now that's not a small area to be covered and that 100 gigawatt is just 2022. India has to carry forward on that. So there is an issue there. And if you ask me, when we look at the solars, there are three, two to three types of uh, things which comes across. One is there are hazardous material there. So we have to take care of that. Uh, second is there are extractable but rare, ma rare materials there like silver. We have to take care of that too. And third is there are reusable material out there. Now when we are looking into all of this, now today if you look at as we speak because we are, we are ramping up in a phenomenal pace, our ratio between what is going off from the life cycle to what is added is around 0.4%. So it's, it's not that big a issue right now, but by 2030 we will be talking about 4 to 14 percent and if you say that all of us who produce panels and whatever we are importing has a life of or we guarantee for 25 years, by 2050 around 80 percent of it would be going off. So we need a policy framework as well as this aspect is concerned for sure. We need to have skin in the game of the people who are either developing it or producing it. Let's also understand that most of them or some of them, let me say it, may not be there in existence by that time. So unless you have a policy framework, you won't be able to actually address this issue which is going to come up. Like in case of batteries too, as I understand, right. there was a policy of that for all manufacturers that you have to reuse a certain percentage, which is I think more than 50%. That doesn't happen even though when there is a right. policy. In fact, we have the frameworks in place of how you're supposed to deal with electronic exactly. waste and battery waste, but it's not really happening. It's not really happening and that we have lessons there. And here we are again ramping up on some other technologies, on something which we feel is renewable and green, but will be a major issue tomorrow unless today we address it and have the people accountable for it. And that can only come through a policy framework.